I live to fucking rip the stick, you know? <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Punk Rock. Welcome to another episode of Torah Story. My Yankovic. Hi. Just friends. Yep. The, the title of this show is Torah Stories. Yeah. Lay it on me. You go to you. You you toured a bunch. I've toured a bunch. I'm I'm 29 years old. I'm about to be 30 this year, and I went on my first tour when I was 17, I think. I drink this white claw. No, yeah, you should. Fuck it. I will too. Fucking Fine. rip it, rip it, baby. Yeah, I've been touring for over 10 years. 12, 12 going on 13 years, I guess. Hell yeah. I've experienced a lot of shitty, <laughs> shitty, <laughs> shitty things. A lot of crazy things happen in the van. Just Friends was on our first U.S. tour that we ever did in 2015. It was like a DIY. Thing. it was like a month long and yeah. we kind of like hit all over you know we played in salt lake city and me and sam have kind of historically been the people who will like sleep in the van like i kind of like sleeping in the van sam snores like i've just been doing it for so long that when we're on the road like i'd rather sleep in the van than like on somebody's floor mm -hmm. you know what i mean and we'd also do that for like security purposes like in case somebody tries to break in whatever you know what i mean like somebody's in there with a fucking i feel that with the keys and a knife or something you know <laughs> Um, or a baseball bat. So we played this house show in Salt Lake City and I slept in the van. The van that we had at the time, the back windows, like on the back doors, would like pop outward so you can get ventilation in the back. So I would sleep with that open. Okay. And it's just a little bit. It's like this much of a crack, a crack. You know what I mean? Just a half. I, I, it's like 5.45 in the morning. The sun is just starting to come up and I hear this rustling and I, it wakes me up and I sit up and I'm like, what's going on? My eyes adjust. And I can just see the silhouette of someone's hand, like, rustling through the thing, like, trying to find, like, you know, the, the handle or the you know, the block or whatever. And I sat up, and I think I was just like, what the fuck? And they just kind of, and, like, scattered. Yeah. I had a similar thing in Sweden. I was sleeping in the van, uh, and a guy just, like, starts, like, cracking the door. And it, like, moves more than it should do, because it's fucked. It's a fucked old van. And I just, like, I don't know what, what I was thinking, but I, like slide open the door and just shout at this guy like what the fuck are you doing and yeah. i'm just like in hindsight i'm just like i shouldn't have done that yeah that well, guy could have stabbed me dude that's the thing like i i had a, a pocket knife with me or something like you know what i mean just in that moment it's just crazy because like that person could have a gun yeah or, especially like, in america people america. who are trying to steal your shit are crazy be careful that's all i can say <laughs> kind of that's kind touring. of a personal horror story like it's not actually like a terrifying thing but something that felt like a fever dream with just friends we do a thing called the psycho drive just <laughs> after the show like you got to drive eight hours you got to drive 12 hours like you, you just fucking do it like yep. you drive through the night some people can sleep in the van or whatever so we were on this one particular psycho drive and i was driving and the back was just like everybody was getting fucking crazy like people were like taking their shirt like everybody's like kind of getting <laughs> naked yeah i've told you chanting and stuff I, I yeah you've toured with us like it just gets stupid we chant we fucking like bang on the walls and shit and <laughs> So, like, they're getting freaky back there. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. And then they kind of start, like, destroying stuff. Anyway, everybody's <laughs> naked. They're, like, blasting, like, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Like, one of the really, like, tantric, like, like MDMA, like, type of fucking joints. You know what I mean? Where it's just, like, tripped out. It, they start destroying a pillow. They, like, all, like, ravenously, <laughs> like, collectively, like, are grabbing this pillow and, like, throwing pillow. it around and, like, fucking beating the shit out of it. And it's, like, Sam and Austin and Brianda and Brandon and, over, like, hella fucking people in the back <laughs> just going absolutely insane. I was just, like, what the fuck? I, I was, like, this is crazy. Like, I just hope that's not my pillow you guys destroyed. Long story short, <laughs> it was my pillow. <laughs> so, like, I'm up there. It's the middle of the night. I'm driving these fools. Like getting people safely to the next location, and they are in the back, actively destroying my pillow, like in, a, in like a ritualistic fucking. Yeah, but it's fine because they went to they went to Walmart the next day and like bought me like a new pillow and stuff. It was fine. This was incredible, Matt. Thank you for sharing your. You're welcome. <laughs> fucking bizarre, just friends stories. I, I would expect nothing less. Oh uh, yeah, that's not even fucking. That's just like scratching the top. You know All what I'm right, saying? Well, Go to wait for part two for the next the next update. Bye. Say bye.